Yeah. What have you got there, Marley? Show me what you These kids were happy to play their part in an important study into COVID-19. After parents Leela Sawenko and Tony Maguire contracted the virus on a trip to Sydney in March, they were convinced their children would also test positive back home. After three days, we finally got the result that they had tested negative, which was like jaw-droppingly amazing because they had spent um, a week and a half with us while we were COVID positive. My youngest daughter, who had been really close to us since we returned from Sydney, sleeping in the bed with us, constant cuddles, um, was completely asymptomatic. Scientists from the Murdoch Children's Research Institute took blood, nasal and other samples from the family every couple of days. They found all the children had very similar antibodies to COVID-19 as their parents. That meant the children were infected, but unlike the adults, they were able to mount an immune response, which stopped the virus from replicating. This was one of the first reports to actually show an immune response in children who have been exposed to the virus in their household. They summed it up by sort of saying that probably what's happening with the kids is they get the virus, but their antibodies are so efficient at fighting them that the virus is obliterated <laughs> before it turns into COVID and before you can shed COVID. Most children who get COVID will only get mild symptoms. And while this study only focused on one family, it gives us important new insights into what happens to the immune system when children come into contact with the virus. Our kids certainly didn't enjoy the swabs, but they were quite um, willing participants to know that they were contributing to potentially a vaccine down the track. Scientists will monitor the family in six and 12 months to see how their immune systems change over time. Sophie Scott, ABC News.